Um, so yes, without messing around anymore, this is going to be a really quick video where I just paint up this 2005 4th edition Metal Chaos Demon Prince. I'm going to do it in the style of my Kill Team, which is that sort of bony, rotten colour that you've seen in other videos, which I've actually done really, really well, so thank you for those. But I'm going to try and copy part of the colour scheme that's on the box as well. Not going to waste any more time introducing things today. So just let me know what you think of the overall thing in the comments down below. I didn't really honestly know what to expect when I was opening the box. I had, when I was given this originally, I did open it one or two times to look at it. But when I had originally opened it, I had no idea what I was looking at realistically because I'd only seen plastic models before, like even Airfix kits as well. So I was surprised when this time I knew a little bit more and I knew I had to cut the flash off and file off the impurities, which you can see here. But then when it got to the gluing stage, even though I tried the different types of super glue that I've got, I find that some work better than other, maybe because I got the wrong type. And eventually when I did get it together, I then had to move on to use some green, liquid green stuff to fill in some of the gaps that were left behind. I did do some Zenithal highlighting, but you all know how to do that. I didn't need to show you this time. But yeah, I used some liquid green stuff um, with the terrain tool on my thumb as well, just to fill in some of the small gaps left by just the, the imperfections of the model, basically, because this isn't a computer design model, it's a hand carve. And once I got that done, I Zenithal highlighted again just to cover up the green stuff. And I started using a really, really, really heavy wash to start getting into that grimy sort of undertone level of, of paint that I got with my original Chaos color scheme. With that covered, I then moved on to the fleshy parts. I was using an old color scheme that I found online to base the skin on. I kind of wanted it to be somewhat faithful to the original Games Workshop concept art even though I was doing my own armor color scheme so I used some black for the fleshy parts and some of the bone areas little bits of the natural color and then I moved on to do my custom chaos armor which you can see in the other video in the corner after that I moved on to the skin again trying to copy the games workshop color scheme with some red highlighting using world leaders red and evil sun scarlet just to create some layering of tone between the bottom and the top a little bit of highlighting as well I did that on any kind of area where there was natural flesh you know visible like on the face and the hands mostly but there were uh, the back was the other area where i covered it as well because it looked like the flesh had come out of the armor to cover over the power vents and stuff and this is where i kind of started to run into the parts that i wasn't so keen on because this was hand carved there's a little bit less the carving itself is the detail in the model not the painting so you end up with a lot of natural lines and sort of organic shapes which you wouldn't get in a plastic model because the plastic ones are designed to be painted this one feels like it's designed just to be a model um so trying to impose some more detail with paint was quite difficult so i painted some sort of tattoo patterns which i went over and fixed again with some more paint later on but that i did find that quite a struggle because in the original concept art there's barely any color here it's just kind of uniform and i didn't want uniformity i wanted some detail to stand out so this is the best thing i could come up with but then from there after i'd done my normal chaos color scheme i went on just did some gold highlights pretty standard just sort of going around the edges of the armor touching things up making them look a bit nicer and i find that this does because the armor scheme itself is so grim and unpleasant that gold starts to bring it out and then from there just onto some dry brush and layers to bring out the sort of purpley glowy nature of the power sword which I'll hopefully go over again at some point in the future with some ambient lighting effects as well. One part I did actually enjoy in terms of the detail was the teeth. I find them actually easier on this model than I would on a plastic one, I think. And I honestly don't really know why. The color was just sort of a bleached bone, the same as I was using anywhere else. And then, yeah, because I didn't really like those sort of organic lines, I went back over and dry brushed some of the colors over the top just to smooth them. So I don't know, I, I couldn't quite get the layer into work in a way that would satisfy those natural lines so i decided to blend them and blend them and blend them until i kind of sat a bit more comfortably and with that sort of covered the only thing i had left to do was paint the detail in the eyes
And yeah, while that creative editing doesn't really show you the whole thing, I will give you a close-up now on my paint speckled desk. So you can see up close and judge for yourself what you think of the colour scheme. Does the 4th edition Games Workshop run with my gross, rotten armour colour scheme? You can decide and let me know down below. But ultimately I do quite like it. There were some issues obviously like you saw, some things I was happy with, some things I wasn't happy with, but ultimately I'm quite pleased with the outcome. I am going to work this into some sort of diorama in the future, where I'll paint some ambient lighting, get some other kind of effects and stuff going on because I didn't like the base that came with the model. I didn't think it was quite large enough. It doesn't fit properly. So I will be painting this into something else. You keep an eye out for that. And if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see, please do get let me know in the comments and we'll try and work that in. But for now, you'll just have to live with the fact that I forgot to outro the video and I will see you next time. Thank you.